Hi, I'm Jean Edelman. For decades, I've been a student of the healing arts. Reiki, traditional Chinese medicine, homeopathy, acupuncture, plant-based, and macrobiotic cooking. Join me on this journey and hear my word of the week. Wonderful to be with you this week. This week, we begin June, and I want to talk about taking a break. It's summer. Summer is our opportunity to take time off, to rest, to reset, to rejuvenate ourselves. The question is, will we take the time to take the break? A key to our health, a key to our balance and wellness, is tuning into ourselves and listening and paying attention to the signals we're getting from our body. Maybe if we look at different types of breaks, maybe we'll understand better what our body is asking for. So let me take a few minutes to talk about the different types of breaks that we can take. The first type is a physical break. You've had them, days when all you're doing is running around, you're on your feet all day. Well, if you find that you're doing this a lot and you find that you don't have the energy to finish a task or you find that you're kind of run down and maybe getting some colds a little bit too frequently, these are signs that we need to schedule physical breaks into our day, into our week. What's recommended is a 20-minute nap. I've talked about this in my past podcast. This is really the best medicine for a physical break, and it is the right amount of time to actually rest and rejuvenate ourselves. So if we're finding ourselves really depleted physically, we want to physically get off our feet and give our old bones a rest. The next type of a break is a mental break. We've all needed it. Too much computer time, too many electronics. Well, if we find ourselves in a fog, if we find ourselves irritable and snapping at others, well, it's time that we get outside, get some fresh air, take a walk, go work in the garden, go take a class. What we want to do is we want to actually break the mental cycle that we are in. We want to go do something completely different. So schedule in those mental breaks. The next is an emotional break. Are we that person that likes to please everybody? It's hard to say no. We're always saying yes. We're overcommitted. We're overthinking. And we do this before we consider the needs of ourselves. We are depleting ourselves and we're just going, 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 but we're not going for ourselves. We're going for others. So listen, if we find ourselves with excessive worry and a lot of negative talk and that ultimate fear of missing out, it's time for an emotional break. And how we do that is we stop and we step back and we think and look at what we're doing. How important is it? Is it more important to the other person? Is it important to us? What are we giving up to accommodate this other person? I recommend we take a breath, we say no, and we go have a cup of tea. Another type of break is a social break. Are there people that we spend time with that just deplete our energy? Or are there people that just make us joyful and happy? The goal is to be with those that make us joyful and happy. And the goal is to alleviate the people in our life that drain our energy. Because you know what they're going to do is they're going to make us feel alone and detached. And so what's recommended when we need this social break is we really take a hard look at the people that we're socializing with, the people in our life, and how much time we want to spend with them and how they make us feel. Because this social aspect has a huge effect on our mental and emotional. And so we need to be around people that fill us up with joy, love, and laughter. Another type of break is a sensory break. We've done this. Our senses are easily overloaded. It could be too much perfume, bright lights, constant noise, our computer screens. So listen, if we find ourselves getting startled or we're getting some headaches, a sensory break is recommended. We do this by getting outside, get some fresh air. But when I need a sensory break, personally, what I do is I go get an eye pillow and I go lay down. So our action item for this week is look at each day. We will need a break of some type. What type of break will we need? Listen to our body 
and give ourselves the break for the wonderful self-care that we deserve. So my word of the week is break. The B is for bright because you know what? We're all lights in this world, but we need to feed this flame with healthy habits. And that includes taking time for ourselves. We cannot run at 100 miles an hour. We're meant to rest. We're meant to restore and rejuvenate ourselves. Find the time. The R is for rise to alleviate and lift upward. When we're taking good care of ourselves, when we're taking breaks, when we are setting healthy boundaries, we are the beacons for ourselves and others. And when we see the light in ourselves, we can see it in others. The E is for empower, to allow. How about the opportunity to take care of ourselves, empower and allow us to take care of ourselves? What a concept. Because no one's going to tell us to take that break and no one's going to tell us what kind of break we need. So empower, allow ourselves this beautiful self-care that we deserve. The A is for amusing because we are silly humans. And we think we can run on empty. We think we can run with a lack of sleep and make good decisions. We think that we don't have to take care of ourselves and eat good food and drink water. We think all will be well. Well, you know what? Eventually, it's all going to catch up with us. Our bodies are miracles, and they do wish us health and balance. But the first step is to take care of ourselves. Take care of this beautiful miracle vessel that we have. And the K is for know, to know ourselves. We need to know ourselves. When are we tired? When are we hungry? When are we thirsty? When do we need that break? And what type of break do we need? We can put multiple breaks in a day. It doesn't matter. It's our day. It's our life. We need to explore what works best for us. And remember, life is for us and life comes from us. And when we live from our heart, we will enrich our days on this planet. I wish you a beautiful week with some wonderful, wonderful breaks. Mm -hmm.